graduating class only, who are now dead as of drinking, as a result of drinking and driving, and we came up to number 10. So, think about it. Would you risk your life if all you needed was a ride home? It can happen to anyone. You. Me. Me. You. Me. Me. You. You. Your sister. Me. You. You. Me. Your brother. Me. Us. 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 Would you kill me? How could you do that to your friends? Your family. The people that love you. We can't lose anymore. We've lost too many kids. National statistics say that 16 teenagers are killed a day because of uh, you know, auto accidents. Most were hey. basically uh, created by drunk drivers. By right here in Alvin, of course, we lost one of our own. And it's something we're still sensitive to today. That we send a kid to college, we have a school that we send nearly every kid to college. And then we have to read the newspapers that one of our children, one of our babies, is killed because somebody else is, is uh, involved in uh, drunk driving. It's got to stop. It's got to stop with each and every one of us, no matter what our age is. We can't drink and then get behind the wheel. No more young, no more young people should die because of this curable situation, something that can be stopped. It's up to you, it's up to me, it's up to everybody not to drink and get behind the wheel. I think the one thing we've learned is that if it happens to Carly, it can happen to any of us. You're not immortal. No one is immortal. Do you want to know what's going on? It's not fair to your loved ones. No one is immortal. No conduce you by the influence. Your future is too important. You only have one chance. And there's a million ways to screw it up. Flight 43, notify truck 118. We do have a trap. Affirmative, truck 118, person's trapped. Your ETA. 